And then the other thing that we snagged is these bad boys. And you're going to want to stick around to see the price on this that we paid. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna just touch on a few things uh, real fast, catch everybody up to speed, uh, where we're at with everything and uh, give you a few bits of uh, pieces of information. So first off, let's hit it straight up with the car. Where's the motor at? Uh, motor's still at TKM. Spoke with TKM this past week. As you know from the last video, um, they now have my uh, all my parts, uh, Skinny actually, uh, me and Skinny text a lot and he actually was talking to me last night, said he actually filed my rings yesterday. So the motor is in a line, it's in line to get assembled. Uh, they had pulled it out of a line while they were waiting or out of the line while they were waiting for my piston to come in. But now all my parts are there the, as of like a week ago or whenever we did the last video, I've lost track of time. Uh, the motor is back in line to get put together, but there is about 11, um, engines ahead of me he said when i spoke to him the other day he actually called me with a question about a lockout and uh some other stuff and uh i checked and he said you know there's about 11 ahead of me he said to play it safe we should expect it back um probably uh after christmas so uh probably after christmas we're not really going to uh expect to get that motor back uh before christmas that's just just how it is uh we're in line just like everybody else we don't get jumped to the front or nothing special um i'm nobody you have to remember that uh, so that's where we're at. He did, uh, they did go ahead and tap the uh, the old lines, the adapter that goes on the side of the block that we messed up the old lines, the directions. Uh, he actually tapped that today, drilled and tapped it out for, uh, I think it was a 1.8 MPT. It's, it's an adapter that he tapped and put in there so we can screw a uh, Dash 4 AM line straight into there to do a remote mount um, oil pressure sensor. Now him, and some other people said that he sees no problem with us running a remote mounted sensor. Uh, if you have any feedback or any uh, advice on this, let me know. I am not buying a Rife sensor block. It's not happening. It's out of the budget right now. It's not happening. We're not rewiring that part of the car because my harness is pretty much uh, plug and play. So we're not doing a Rife sensor uh, block or not like that. But eBay does make the remote sensors for all of the pressure sensors. So drop a comment below. And if you think I should go ahead and snag one of these cheap eBay blocks that you screw in the uh, eighth inch uh, sensor in the top, the line in the bottom, and you plug them in or all in one location or, or whatever, just put all my sensors on the firewall or somewhere. Uh, go ahead and drop below. Let me know. This might be a change that we might go ahead and make over the next couple weeks. That way, when we go put the car back together, uh, we don't have we have all the sensors in one location. We don't have that many sensors. I think I got fuel pressure sensor, which is on the fuel pressure regulator, which is on a metal black bracket on top of the motor, uh, which isn't really too firmly mounted. I think it has a little bit of cushion basically to it. But um, besides that, all we I don't even remember. We got fuel pressure, uh, coolant pressure, which is on the top of the radiator. It's not even hooked up right now. I don't think. Um, and then oil pressure. Besides that, we don't really have uh, many sensors, uh, too many sensors on this car. So I don't know if it's needed. It might be best just to remote mount just the old pressure sensor. So it's not way up in there. It's, it is in a spot it's hard to get to. So we definitely want to run a line out and get it somewhere else. It's easier to change that sensor out if we have a problem um, so that we don't run into the same issue before. The way it's tapped now is tapped into the main line. So it's not going to be where it was before, where it gives a false reading. This should give us a direct reading of what's flowing through the line straight out of the side of the block, not in the filter housing itself. So this should be a good positive uh, change. Hope everybody had a good holiday. Uh, hope you snagged some Black Friday sales. Um, I want to show you a couple things we snagged real fast and I want to uh, drop a little piece of information of where you can go right now and still snag some deals and uh, possibly snag them throughout the year. I'm not really sure how that works, but I do know there's some deals uh, right now. So uh, let's check this out real fast. All right, so we got in a box of goodies from Speedway Motors. Yes, we got the loafers on again out here in the garage. Uh, first off, we snagged uh, this panel. Now, this wasn't necessarily a Black Friday deal. This was a what they call a garage sale deal. So this is a 14 by 14 uh, access panel. Uh, there's the part number. If you will go to Speedway Motors right now, speedwaymotors.com, and you'll type in this part number, uh, there is actually one right there right now on clearance in the garage sale 
for it was thirty dollars i believe this is regularly if you look up the all-star ones on ebay they're about 75 dollars uh, there's one on there for 30 bucks right now that it looks like it had already been installed basically there is a dent on it but you can dolly it out and then paint it uh, but that's that's a pretty good savings 30 versus 75 dollars um, see how let's see here i got this one actually i'll show you what i got it for in a second we we may be making some changes with this while we have this downtime um, and if we do of course y'all will be the first to know what it is and why uh, no i am not cutting a hole in that trunk lid uh, so i can go ahead and answer that but we may be using this for a project that involves the car uh, we went ahead and picked up some of these guys you know uh, these are excellent to have your an fitting so there is your uh, part number plug these are just plugs so like i said whenever i took took myself apart i said i won't be having this problem again uh, it's basically an assortment of just a couple um, and i just snagged that because that was a good deal i'm gonna show you these prices here in a second and then the other thing that we snagged is these bad boys and you're gonna want to stick around to see the price on this that we paid um, so these are axle strap tie downs uh, obviously for um you know strapping your race car down if you've been following the build with the race car trailer then you already know that this was one of the items that i needed to purchase for the trailer for hauling this piece of crap but i was on a budget just like y'all are on a budget often and i was just using the straps I already have that belong to my business and belong to my open trailer for hauling junk cars and scrap cars uh, so they weren't necessarily clean and they've had some nicks in them and stuff like that and uh, i just don't want to play bouncing back and forth trailer trailer with straps so we snagged four of these now on the website these are regularly about fifty dollars uh, a piece is what they uh what they normally go for you can get uh tie downs on ebay for about 100 bucks a kit that's what i was going to do uh, i do have 100 dollars tie down kits uh, for my open car trailer and i've never had an issue zero issues out of them hit up ebay uh, search for um, vehicle trailer tie downs or wheel strap tie downs or something like that you should be able to pay about 100 bucks for tie downs these come with the uh uh, axle strap that goes around the axle and everything on them so these are a little nicer than uh you know just uh four tie downs without the axle straps uh, but this is a pretty good deal so deal all right so what did we pay for this stuff you're gonna want to you're gonna want to see this okay so for the the four tie downs in the trailer or the four race car tie downs on the trailer check this out we paid i had to fold the top so you don't see the address of my home address uh because it did get shipped to the house. Uh, we got four tie downs right here. There's the part number. Tie downs first line is $3.99 each, $15.96 total for the tie downs. No, that is not a typo. These right here, all of them were $4 a piece. Like I said, the eBay ones, you can get a whole kit for $100, you know, for uh, four tie downs. These are the nice ones with the axle straps that go around them uh, is what the ad said. The ad said that they were like opened or had uh, signs of usage possibly. And so they were literally on what they call their garage sale. Now looking at these, there's no signs of usage on them that I can see. Uh, everything is strapped up nice and neat. Uh, it does have that band strapped around them that's inside. I'm guessing maybe somebody sent them back and they rebagged them and restrapped them. I'm not really sure how that works. Um, you would think that open box sell, it would have the bands cut, but they're not cut. So I'm not sure either way they are new. Uh, they look new to me and they're plenty good enough for me and I'm sure they would be good enough for a lot of y'all. So that was, uh, that was a pretty good steal by sitting there uh, and shopping through that. The 14 by 14 access panel, which is gonna be line two right there, which is gonna be that second part number right here that I showed you. It's gonna be the second one down, $29.99. Um, and then our AN plugs is gonna be our bottom line right there. Uh, there's the part number on the AN plugs. Uh, they were on clearance for $2, man. So I feel like that was a pretty good steal for these little plastic caps uh, to hopefully help us not make a mess is uh, two bucks two bucks for that that's crazy twenty dollars for this big 14 by 14 access panel so i feel like my black friday shopping i did pretty good and like i said i can't i don't know if you would necessarily classify these three items as a black friday sale maybe the plugs were um 
but I believe the access panel and I know the tie downs were definitely marked under what they call the garage sale. So if you go to speedwaymotors.com and I'm not sponsored by them, I'm literally just trying to share with y'all uh, so you can get deals. I, they don't even know who I am, I'm a nobody, uh, just like to every other company out there. Uh, go look through the garage sale. Now I did this on Black Friday when I was shopping for deals and didn't buy nothing else because uh, as y'all probably seen this year, there really wasn't a lot of good Black Friday sales in my opinion. Um, you know, I looked at the Harbor Freight stuff and the sales they were running were absolute joke. It was just the same products that uh, they have all year long. It wasn't like it was something new or something different, you know, and uh, uh, like lower pricing or nothing. So it just wasn't worth, uh, y'all already know I share, I'm very open that we already have debt on this car uh, from building it the first time and we're about to pay TK and more. So it just wasn't worth pulling the trigger on anything besides them. Now I, I, I consider uh, these items a, a pretty good freaking deal. So we pulled the trigger on them. Besides that, I didn't really, I bought the wife something off of a Black Friday sale, but besides that, uh, I didn't really snag anything else. But y'all go check out the garage sale. I sorted through 1,800 items on Black Friday. I went through individually on Speedway Motors and the garage sale, 1,800 items. And it paid off big time when I scored these, in my opinion. Now, it might not be worth it to you, but in my opinion, that was a steal. The ratchet straps alone was worth the two and a half hours that I individually went through every single item listed on a garage sale. So you might want to get on there. You might want to go check it out. There is another 14 by 14 access panel listed on there. Like I said, uh, you can dolly the dent out is what it looks like in the pictures. And then you could either wrap it with like a carbon fiber wrap or just rattle can it like we've went over here on the channel. And uh, if, you, if you are in the market for one of them access panels, $75 on eBay for all-star one, $30 right now on Speedway Motors, just needs a dolly taken to one little corner. You, you might want to snag it, man. That's a pretty good deal in my opinion. Um, so yeah, making a little more progress. Uh, you know, these little things add up. You know, I'm trying, you know, I try to share with y'all when I learn about something, I learn about an area to snag something. They have engine parts that are on sale there. Uh, motor stuff, starters, fuel pumps, uh, fire suits, uh, shoes, safety gear, all kinds of stuff is in that garage sale. I'm telling you, you might want to go, you might want to go just check it out because, uh, you know, if you, if you know your engine stuff, unfortunately there's no coyote stuff in there, but, uh, if you have a traditional kind of motor, I guess, then, uh, a lot of that stuff's in there. And I, I think a lot of people kind of sleep on speedway motors. It seems like because they do a lot of dirt and circle track racing and stuff, even though it is like racing car stuff it's definitely not like a ton of drag racing stuff from what i pick up when i'm on there um but i have bought quite a few things for them i mean all your fittings your lines and all that kind of stuff is on there they have some lines uh like your am lines they were on there but you already know where i get my am lines from for a way better deal but they were still a good deal you know at the time for the garage sale one so you might want to check it out um this weekend is uh dig or die and I know talking to John, he feels really good. Uh, so we're hoping Turbo John does good this weekend. I'm hoping that uh, me and the other guys that we can kind of make sure that he's not stressed out, that everything's done on the car. Uh, he's already done everything, but like when we're there in the pits, you know, hopefully we can make sure that he's in his comfort zone. Everything's done. He's not stressed. Uh, get him some good film. I can make sure I try to get him some good film as always. And uh, hopefully he can just sit back and really focus this weekend on uh, racing. And uh, I, from talking to him uh, and knowing him for over a year now, the uh, the words that he is using um, basically says that he feels really good about the car for this weekend. So hopefully, uh, I'm fingers crossed that that works out for him this Saturday and hopefully he can get a win. Uh, cause I would love to see, uh, Turbo John, you know, get a win at dig or die. I think that'd be a really big accomplishment for him. And, um, I think it would be flat out, you know, awesome to get a win. So besides that, that's pretty much the update on where we are at going into, uh, the holiday season going into December. So, uh, stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, um, because we will, uh, be moving forward with some stuff. Uh, you know, I, I, I did purchase the Coyote, the spare Coyote for this car that we're going to try to uh, start moving towards building after we get this one squared away. So we're not going to put this on the back burner for the next one, but we are going to go ahead and keep our eyes open for deals and start trying to put together a, uh, a spare Coyote. Um, and I will be teaching y'all how you can also get yourself a free Coyote or get yourself a free LS or really get yourself a free whatever motor you want and you don't have to pay for the motor. 
Um, and I'm showing you right here on this channel how you can do that. Uh, clean and clear, no stipulations. The only stipulations to getting a free motor is you have to work. So you're gonna have to get off your butt, you have to watch some videos, you have to learn, you have to pay attention, and you're gonna have to work, hustle and grind. Um, but if you do it, you gotta put up some money up front to get the vehicle. And, you know, we'll show that, we'll show prices, we'll show numbers. Uh, I'll disclose everything. I've already got my first deal lined up for recouping some money on that project um, for tomorrow morning. And I will go over that in the next video on the new Coyote we have. So make sure you smash that notification button if you already haven't. Uh, I'm not gonna try to over December uh, bring y'all a bunch of junk. I'm not gonna try to put junk on the channel. If we need to go a week without a video, we'll go without a week without a video. But anything that I can share, help, teach, educate, whatever that I feel could help one of y'all, I consider y'all family, uh, grow or get things in life, whatever, I will definitely uh, bring to the table and put you know on the channel to share it with y'all. So like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks y'all.